The mainstreaming of the gender perspective is uh, crucial for the understanding uh, of the empowerment of women and for the protection of uh, women's rights. Uh, this notion was introduced in 1997 uh, by um, one document uh, drafted uh, by the United Nations uh, Social Council and presented to the General Assembly. Uh, the gender mainstreaming is uh, very important. This is uh, a process of assessment of all activities uh, and planet and planet actions of the United Nations uh, in order to know which impact has this action on the women and men in the future. So this is uh, a process and also mechanism to, to promote the human rights of women and to know what will be happen after, after this action indeed. Uh, this uh, process and mechanism is, is crucial and uh, is uh, the core uh, um, substance of uh, Resolution 1325 of the Security Council of uh, United Nations. So I pointed in my presentation on this aspect of the empowerment of women and uh, the promotion of women on decision-making positions. It's very important, not only the victimization of women during uh, conflict situation, uh, but uh, the mm, empowerment uh, in decision-making process. It's very important. Uh, it's uh, very good known that uh, the women are bringing uh, peace not only uh, in in the families, but also in social life and in the international relations. So the role in uh, women in peacekeeping operations is uh, greater and will be supported uh, also financial, financially by the uh, state parties to the United Nations. And it is very important to know uh, which uh, actors uh, are involved in this process. Uh, Resolution 1325 uh, urges all governments uh, uh, of the state parties to the United, Sta uh, United Nations, uh, as well the international organization, also in regional level and national level, to promote, to, to implement the, the resolution. So uh, the, the other actors uh, are very important, the civil society, uh, civil society organizations, uh, but uh, also the, the schools, the universities, the high schools. Uh, they play a very important role in the formation and um, to, uh, to crash these stereotypes uh, on gender roles. So the implementation of the resolutions uh, is uh, connected to, to the efforts of uh, many actors and uh, uh, all these actors uh, are responsible for, for, for the implementation of the resolution. I'm <laughs> uh, I was uh, critical uh, about the, the results of the resolution. Why maybe I expected more? Uh, 13 years after the adoption of the resolutions, the um, results are not very significant. Um, the percentage of the women uh, in um, peace uh, process is, uh, is low. Um, the percentage of the women in the um, post-conflict uh, situation is also low. Uh, some uh, progress uh, was made uh, in the peacekeeping operations, I think so, but not enough, not enough, in my opinion. Uh, the soft power is uh, very, very important and the discussions uh, about uh, the soft power are still not very um, well known in Bulgaria, but in general, in uh, the theory of international relations, this is very, very interesting, a new topic. And uh, I know about the activities of uh, your institute and uh, think that the soft power has potential. Soft power is indeed to, to convince the, the partner or the, the adversary to, to, to be to play some role, to, to, to have a conduct to be uh, uh, 
uh, to prevent the conflict or to, to convince him to, to do something uh, uh, for, for the peace process. So uh, the, the cultural diplomacy is very, very important and new one. I think uh, there is um, immense potential if, if the people which uh, are practicing uh, cultural diplomacy um, are well trained and uh, aware of the impact of uh, this uh, effort. Uh, cultural diplomacy is maybe more effective in Europe. I don't know what is the situation if, if we uh, apply cultural uh, diplomacy abroad and if our values are accepted by the others. This is the problem of the image of the other. Uh, so great, great uh, and very interesting uh, problem.